a once thriving industry is now in crisis. There's a common saying that a farmer is just two bad seasons away from going out of business. Well, we just experienced our fifth. But the province has come to the table with a series of relief initiatives to support fruit farmers across BC. The challenges that they are facing are different depending on what they grow, the diversity of crops they go, grow, whether they're big or small. The challenges are different, but what is consistent is that the challenges are profound and existential. BC's Premier David Eby announced Tuesday in Penticton an additional $5 million resilience program providing technologies to prevent crop loss due to climate events. And a temporary exemption to an agricultural land reserve rule and that the province will increase the agri-stability program, moving the compensation level up from 80 percent to 90 percent for the 2024 year. BC's Premier says he has also written the Prime Minister calling for more specific support in this urgent moment from the federal government. I'd like to underline that uh, it can't be just the provincial government that responds to this. Uh, we need a strong federal partner at the table as well. This comes on the heel of the recent collapse of the BC Tree Fruits Co-op, which has left farmers scrambling to find new facilities to pack and sell their product. Over 60,000 bins of fruit that was previously packed by the co-op will be shipped to other packing houses. We've been able to help a majority of co-op members fine packing services and we continue to look at other options to help more. BC Tree Fruits is reportedly in debt for millions of dollars. The co-op now wrapped up in court recently filing for creditor protection. We'll be monitoring that closely to identify opportunities to intervene uh, to uh, do whatever we can to make available the services that uh, the co-op used to provide um, and to uh, keep a close eye on the assets of the co-op to see whether there's an opportunity for us to work uh, together uh, to find a path to ensure that uh, key assets are not lost. BC Tree Fruits Association declined our request for an interview on Tuesday, saying they have no further comment beyond the information that has already been released at this time. Taya Fass, Global News, Penticton.